What's going on guys? Saint Ignatius of Cyberspace. Really excited to be here today because I'm going to be introducing to you a Raspberry Pi music slash retro game project that I've been recently working on called Binary Gospel, which is going to consist of a classic hip hop album that's going to run parallel to a retro style video game and both are going to kind of work synergistically. The concept here is to create a retro style video game that is themed around a classic hip hop album. And what I mean by that is the content on the album is going to be cornerstone to the retro style video game. For every song that is on the album, there's gonna be a level that's gonna to correspond to the song and is gonna be centered around the lyrical content of the song. Everything from the artwork, the gameplay, I'm gonna get really into detail and do my best here to take these hip hop records that I'm gonna be making on a Raspberry Pi and using them to create a whole atmosphere and, and a theme for each and every song as well as the video game in its entirety. As far as the music side of things goes, it's going to be using minimal equipment in addition to the Raspberry Pi 3B Plus. I'm going to be running a Pi Sound sound card um, by Blockus, a MIDI interface, as well as a USB microphone. And the MIDI interface is going to be solely um, used as a power supply, as most USB microphones uh, that I'm familiar with. Um, or at least in the musical setting, require phantom power. So that's gonna be the only reason that we're gonna be using a MIDI interface. And the vocals are gonna go through the microphone, through the MIDI interface, through the sound card, into the Raspberry Pi, and recorded and edited with a free open source software called Audacity. There's gonna be minimal mixing done on the Raspberry Pi. And once the vocals are recorded, they're going to be exported uh, immediately onto a laptop for further uh, processing, which is where all the musical magic is gonna happen. As far as the mixing, uh, the EQ, post-production, mastering, all that good stuff. Uh, so that's how the music thing is gonna play out. Uh, as far as the video game side of things, the retro game is going to be designed and developed also on the Raspberry Pi uh, using a software called Pico 8, which allows for uh, developers to create cool pixelated retro style video games in the style and fashion that you see here on the screen. Uh, that little character guy was made on Pico 8 and that's St. Ignatius of Cyberspace, yours truly right here. Theme of the album is going to be kind of geeky, nerdy, conscious, abstract hip hop. Uh, definitely gonna incorporate the musical sound of like the 90s era conscious hip hop with some live instrument play. Uh, the lyrical content of the music album is going to cover topics that'll range from computer coding, Raspberry Pi, Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, blockchain, and even some social and political issues, but mostly I'm going to be talking about stuff that interests me, uh, which is technology, computers, robotics, and uh, philosophical thought. How about that? Now, once the fundraiser is complete, the budget is going to cover and include everything from the time necessary to take to complete the project in all of its entirety to uh, the promotional campaign, things like t-shirts, hard copies of the CD. It's gonna be basically the driving engine of taking this project from an idea uh, to getting it packaged and getting it out there to the world and I really look forward to making the music available freely for everyone once it's complete because it's something I am passionate about and I believe in and it excites me, it's exciting. And to see the completion of a music album with the help of a Raspberry Pi is gonna be amazing and I think it's gonna set an overall new precedent, not just for hip hop music, but for single board computing, right? So I hope you guys like the idea. I hope you're as excited as I am. I would like to hear your feedback. Keep in touch, uh, check out the fundraiser page. All the details are there. Um, I will keep you posted on the fundraiser page as well as on social media and my website. Um, and hopefully we can get the ball rolling on this pretty soon. So stay tuned and until next time.